Hey guys, I'm one of those people that am always looking for better products for my camera and photography. And so with this wireless remote, this is no different. This is the Amazon ML L3 wireless remote. And I'm going to give you the pros and cons of how it worked for me. My, my goal for getting this one was I just wanted to simplify my gear that I'm carrying. All I wanted to do is push the button and have my camera click. And so when I got this, I was pleasantly surprised that's exactly what it did. So I use it with my Nikon D750. There's many other cameras that it does work with, so you'll have to check the specs and see if it works for you. Pro number one, this thing right out of the box worked. All I had to do was pull the plastic out of the battery compartment and it worked right away. So that was great. Pro number two. It has pretty good range. You can get 16 feet away from a camera, it still work. Um, so I thought that was pretty positive. Um, I'm typically always within an arm's length of my camera, but there's a lot of things that I do with photography where I'm on a tripod and I don't want to disturb the camera with, by shaking it, so I like to use a remote. So this was great for that. Pro number three, the size. This is, I mean, it's tiny. Look, look how small it is. I can stick it in my pocket. I can pull it out, take the shot, put it back in my pocket. Really convenient. Doesn't take up a lot of space in my camera bag comes with this little carrying case so you know it's self-contained light and small okay and the cons that I want to talk about with the ML L3 Amazon remote first of all it does come with a battery but the battery life goes really really quick the first time I use this I probably shot maybe two or three jobs and the battery was already dying on me and I'm not shooting a lot of clicks I'm you know I'd say I probably did maybe 200 clicks or so so I'm not saying that this thing runs the batteries down I'm just saying that the first battery that came in it died very quickly for me so that would be one con um, what I did is I made sure that I bought a whole bunch of extra batteries and I keep one in my bag at all times so if I'm in the middle of a shoot I can change out really quick so not a big deal but something you want to be aware of because um, if you don't take precautions then you're gonna be using the shutter button on your camera uh, con number two I would prefer, or actually I do prefer on the remote control that I have that you can hold the shutter halfway down and get a really clear focus and then push it all the way to, to actually actuate the shutter. This one does not have that. So what happens is when you push the button, it does search for focus and it fires. And I think it's been working fine. I really don't have a complaint with that, but what it just does, it does make me a little uncomfortable because I just like to really make sure I have clear focus. Um, before I shut I press that shutter all the way and this does not give you the opportunity to do that You just kind of have to trust it in summary I would say that I would this is a great product. It did exactly what I wanted to do um, I didn't have a wire connected to my camera so I could put this in my pocket So there's definitely more pros than cons But you really got to think about how you're going to use it and see if this is the right product for you